How often has success been determined by courageous choices, the courage to change and to break free from established patterns? Towards the end of the 1980s, Cataldo Aprea, the founder of Aprea Mare, had the intuition to transform the traditional Sorrento rowing and sailing boats used for fishing and known as Gozo into beautiful pleasure crafts and later into large luxurious yachts. Today, a new revolution, the sporty and fast Gozo, that is the Aprea Mare Gozo 35 Speedster. It may appear seemingly conflicting but in reality, it is rational and certainly unique because it retains certain stylistic elements of the Gozo, yet its design is sleek and its performance is sporty. The powerful outboard motorization is a choice that may clash with the traditional style, but it proves to be logical when we consider the space it frees up inside the boat and the ease of maintenance of outboard engines. The Gozo 35 Speedster was designed by Marco Casali and Umberto Tagliavini. The shape of the Gozo, with its bulbous bow and rounded quarterdeck, provides remarkable interior and exterior livability, and these rounded features are well liked. The same shape is found on the swimming platform, which is spacious and comfortable, and the presence of the engines is not perceived as a limitation to the use of this area. And notice the attention to detail in hiding the wiring. It is a pleasure craft. Its registered length is less than 10 metres in Italy, but that hasn't prevented the creation of a long sun deck at the stern, dividing the spaces with a movable headrest backrest. I appreciate the safety provided by the taffrail to those who are lying down during navigation. The cockpit can accommodate five people on the sofas. Additionally, a table and a chair could be added to dine with a party of six. The wet bar includes a sink, electric plates, a refrigerator and cabinets for dishes and utensils. It is piloted under the protection of the hardtop while seated on a double sofa, partially convertible into a lumbar support. There is room for four people sheltered by the windshield. You can walk through it from the bow to stern. You are always protected. You feel secure. Think about how ideal it is for children, but also for us, because we can feel free without constraints. We can sit anywhere. At the bow, in addition to the classic sun deck, there is a small sofa. It's ideal for us to cool off in the breeze while cruising at a slow pace. The bow manoeuvring area is perfect, a testament that the Aprea family has not lost the experience of their ancestors over the generations. Think of them as master shipwrights, builders of Sorrento Gozzi since 1849. Below deck, the standard version is designed for a couple with a very comfortable cabin. However, a second cabin is available as an optional feature. It is a product with various customization possibilities. Underneath the bed, there's a spacious storage space. The wood, color and details give a sense of craftsmanship with which it is made. In the bathroom, you will find plenty of cabinets and a very convenient shower. In the entrance hallway, there is a storage unit with various possibilities of use. Today, we're lucky enough to navigate in one of the most beautiful coastal areas in Italy the Sorrento Peninsula, and from Sorrento, I set the bow towards Mount Vesuvius. At the stern, two outboard engines, the Mercury V10s with 400 horsepower each. Among the outboard equipment, the manoeuvring joystick and the flaps. And since they are there, I use them. At this speed, the minimum planing speed, are slightly lower them to help the trim of the boat. 
even though the balance between the bow and the stern is already excellent on its own. But in this way, I can optimize the tilting angle for a more enjoyable, pleasant navigation experience that reduces the pitching sensation. There are waves, but look how stable it is. The hull, obviously, is not that of a gozo, but has been redesigned for performance. I really like the sharp bow that promises to slice through the waves, but which also gently rests on the water to avoid digging too deep. And anyway, in case these are waves breaking over the bow, we have two skids that deflect the spray. Today, for example, we have strong winds, but I don't see any splashes. We're cruising at 20 knots of speed, and the fuel consumption is 4.5 litres per nautical mile. As we accelerate and encounter waves generated by other boats as well, because the traffic is heavy in this area, including large ships and hydrofoils, I notice how smoothly it glides over these weights. Truly enjoyable. Cruising speed of 25 knots. It's really nice when you immediately connect with the boat, when it feels like the right one. You appreciate it, especially during turns. And this Aprea Mare Gozo 35 Speedster gives you a lot of confidence from the start. It's a large steering wheel that brings us back to tradition, with a considerable diameter. However, we know that this is a revolutionary boat with 800 horsepower outboard engines. Let's see what the cruising speed is. 30 knots and we're around 6 litres per nautical mile. At this speed though, the flaps are no longer necessary. I remove them and give it more gas. We have another adjustment to make, the trim. Always a bit higher, it increases the pitch slightly, but the speed also increases, and we reach a top speed of 42 knots. The Aprea Mare Gozo 35 Speedster has the performance of a sporty centre console, but it retains the spaciousness in both interior and exterior areas, typical of this type of boat, the Gozo. It combines the seafaring qualities of ancient fishing boats with this contemporary Italian design.